Mr. President. Thank you very much. Um, ladies and gentlemen, 10 hours ago, a tragedy happened near Kyiv. The helicopter crash claimed lives of the Minister of the Internal Affairs of Ukraine, his colleagues and helicopter crew when it fell near a kindergarten. 14 of Ukrainian families lost their loved ones today and many more, more families are losing daily because of the war. And I shall ask you to honor the memory of every person Ukraine has lost with a minute of silence. Please. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for this minute. Only one minute, but it keeps the memory about so many people. Ukraine lives thousands of such minutes, including three minutes on January 14. Three minutes. The time it took for a a Russian missile to travel hundreds of kilometers, hit a residential block in Dnipro and kill at least 45 people. 45 adults, children, 45. My address will be short about the time we are short of, about small minutes, about years made of these minutes. Three years ago, I spoke at Davos for the first time in person. The topic was how to build a cohesive and sustainable world. And I'm talking online now. And the topic is how to cooperate in a divided, fragmented world. Conclusions, they are obvious. The world cannot keep the pace with changes and challenges. The list of crises, global security, environmental, food security, energy ones, needs to be amended with another one. The time crisis. The list of calls for decisive, efficient joint actions needs to be expanded with one more. The call for speed. The speed of decisions making. Reaction of the civilized world. Tragedies are outpacing life. The tyranny is outpacing the democracy. Russia needed less than one second to start the war. The world needed days to react with first sanctions. The time the free world uses to think is used by the terrorist state to kill. Ukraine and its allies have been resisting it for almost a year. This period proved all our prompt actions brought positive results. The opening of European borders for Ukrainians, the Grain Deal, the energy unity. Together they saved millions, millions of lives. And not only in Ukraine. It is not only Ukraine, but the whole world needs exactly this pace of decisions and actions. The world was hesitant in 
2014, when Russia, without hesitation, occupied the Crimea. The world was hesitant in 2022, when Russia, without hesitation, made the war full scale. The world must not hesitate today and ever. When the evil seeks revenge, the world needs resolve and speed. Russia is exporting terror. Russia is spreading the strain of the war across the world. Ukraine offers the world a peace formula. Please, 10 steps that the world must make faster than Russia makes its new moves. Mobilization of the world must outpace and next military mobilization of our joint enemy. The supply of Ukraine with air defense systems must outpace Russia's next missile attacks. The supplies of Western tanks must outpace another invasion of Russian tanks. The restoration of security and peace in Ukraine must outpace Russia's attacks on security and peace in other countries. A tribunal for military crimes must prevent new ones. The expansion of NATO and the EU must outgo the spread of the Russian aggression. We routinely defend values which some of the allies take for granted as a fact of life. For us, the, the fact of life is the world in need of resolute and prompt steps. Ladies and gentlemen, three years ago was my first time at the WEF. It was the time when the world was fighting COVID-19. It was it fought and won. Now the world is fighting against Putin. In three years, we will be discussing new challenges and threats in Davos. What will this mean? It will mean we will definitely overcome the current threat. The history repeats itself. At first, the world either fails to notice or underestimates a threat. Then it unites to resist it, and then the world wins. Every time, the same outcome. The world overcame Nazism, the apartheid, pandemics, the indifference to climate changes, financial crisis, and the Kremlin strain, the world will overcome again. This is how much can be said in a matter of minutes. This is how much can be understood in a matter of minutes. The world will overcome again. The time is high to make it happen faster. Slava Ukraini!